For one to fully comprehend this pony fascination, let me first sum up the previous of Pony Generations. <laughs> Generation 1 appeared on TV in the 80s. It was made to sell toys. Plots were hardly very weighty. And Generation 2, I do not mean to grouse and gripe, but these characters fell right into the girly stereotypes. And Generation 3 is just too awful and too tragic. So let's jump to number 4, where friendship is magic. All the characters compelling and the stellar storytelling and the lovely animation brought about great dedication. This is where we meet the bronies, for they like my little pony. Yes, the bros enjoy the ponies, so let's go and meet the bronies. The growth in pony fandom might simply seem absurd. True fans adore the show while others gallop to the herd. For hipster bromies, watching Paso ponies has appeal. Though first it seems ironic, soon enough it's very real. For moderates, the star was humble, finding it through hype when the bronies did invade their favorite forums and websites. And though first a little skeptical, these moderates inquired. And once they finally saw the show, their love for it caught fire. The core of the meetups and conventions that you see are the social groups that come to BronyCon and ever free. Yes, the moderates. Moderates and hipsters are the big groups of the bronies. They're the dudes that are the bulk of all the men who like the ponies. Creative bronies are the final bunch you need to know, making music, art, and stories all inspired by the show. While counting down the days from season one to season two, the musicians wrote funky little songs like Pinky's Brew. The pony generators churn out many new OCs, and the artists put their art on Tumblr blogs for all to see. The writers pair their favorites, voicing charming little quips. And although they face some critics, they will go down with their ships. Their talent is their glory, ever growing, never stopping, from the music to the stories and the artwork and the clapping. Oh dear. But let's steer away from that one and get right back to the ponies, for creatives are the final bunch in the wacky world of bronies. Creatives and moderates and lastly, hipster bronies are the groups that are quite proud to watch the show. My Little Pony! Hey! Forgetting some pony? It seems your little lessons left the fairer sex neglected. Well, when girls like little ponies, that's very much expected. Even so, you can't ignore these Phillies contributions. We're involved in brony culture and we demand our inclusion. We attend all the conventions, create art and music too, discuss the show, talk on forums, everything that these dudes do. No, we're not bros, but we're bronies. Though some prefer Pegasisters. And we also are creatives. Moderates and even hipsters. Well, there you have it. All the bronies. Any pony else I missed? Now, if it's all the same to you, class dismissed. <laughs>